This is a tutorial about tidying up a bit. So I've already mentioned that you can apply the align command to some of these cables which neatens them up a little bit. It still looks a bit of a mess. So two things we'll look at is clearing up the patching mode which is what you see here um, and the second is putting some of these objects into presentation mode so that you develop a usable interface for your user which doesn't have any of this cable clutter lying around. So we'll deal with uh, the patching environment first of all. One thing to notice is that there are several cables all going to the same place, in particular to the envelope objects. So what I'm going to use is something we've used already but usually only with a tilde on the end and that's the send object. So I'm going to label it send envelopes and receive envelopes. And by the way, if you want a shorthand for that, you can also use S envelopes. Um, and R. These two would do exactly the same things as these two. And in fact, they'll work in conjunction. So if I sent something from send envelopes, it would be received by both receive envelopes and R envelopes. Um, so I'll use the shorthand version because I am used to doing that. So what, what's actually being sent to the envelopes? Well, it's the set range command. It's um, a bang that is telling the envelopes to trigger. So I'm going to simply send one single bang to this S envelopes object and the set domain command. So all of those can go into S envelopes and then I can have a, a receive envelopes allocated to each of my envelopes here. So hopefully when I get rid of everything that's coming out of here, because that's already going to the SM send envelopes object which should be received by all of these, we lose that amount of clutter. Uh, we can, we've can we got something going to a button object which is also being sent to the envelope, so all of these are now redundant. And in fact all of the buttons that were here are also can also go. And then finally everything that was going to from set domain to the various individual envelopes that can also go. So immediately we get rid of an awful lot of rubbish and by the way of course we can then tidy that up such that um, uh, the set range goes into this enveloping object and we could align this cable, which I'm going to do by means of command Y, which is a shortcut for, for the align. Move these out of the way. We can also put the set domain there as well. So these are all going to the same place, so uh, the, all of the lines can kind of overlap. So that uh, cleans that up a bit. I'll make a few more changes and then uh, come back to you when I've done them. So that neatens up the patch. You can see I've aligned a load of cables. I've separated out the functions of uh, partial control, um, of envelope control and of oscillator controls from all the um, keyboard and other controls that we've got. So that's one change. I can make it clearer still by colour coding the cables. <clears throat> so we'll make a red set of cables for the partial connections. I'll make a blue set of cables for the envelope connections and I'll make a green set of cables for the 
oscillator connections. And that again tidies up or makes it clearer which presets are going to which of the, the various objects, uh, separating them out from all the grey cables, which are all more the kind of um, control flow through the patch. And I've also added some labels for the various components of the patch. And not only are these useful for identifying uh, what the various components of the patch are, they will also become useful a little bit later. So, I mentioned that you can also put all of this stuff into an interface that is uh, usable. Um, and we do that using something called presentation mode. I'm going to choose certain of the objects which I know I want to be included in my user interface, which are the keyboard, the identification of note durations, the various presets, uh, all of the uh, envelopes, all of the partials, and all of the oscillator U menus. Um, and of course, since I've got these labels, I might just as well include those as well. So I shall choose all of those. I think that's it. And I will choose to put all of these into my presentation mode. So I go to Object and choose Add Presentation. Notice that there is a, a shortcut for that as well. So Add Presentation, and we get this sort of greyish-pink glow around all of the things that I've chosen. At this point, I can then go down and click this Easel tool at the bottom left-hand corner, and only the things that I've chosen remain. So I can now fiddle around with these and create myself uh, an interface, which I will do. And by the way, that includes me being able to resize some of these objects as well, which I might do in a minute. So let's do all of this. And by the way, not only have I an align tool, but I also have a distribution tool. So if I choose five of these objects and go to the Arrange menu, go to Distribute, I can distribute them vertically, and it takes the limits of the top and the bottom object um, and then distributes everything evenly between those. So actually it looks like they were fairly evenly distributed anyway, but sh the gaps between them should now be identical. Um, so now I can uh, move these around. I've just got to be careful that I actually choose the right positions. So the top top oscillator won't have a partial indicator, but the rest will. Oops. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and then the name of each partial as well I shall put next door to each envelope. Now I'm doing this quickly and I'm probably not really thinking all that much about ergonomics. But you'll have a bit more time to think about that. So I've neatened up all of this, and uh, but I need somewhere to put all my more global parameters. So I think I'll put them at the top. So I'll move all of this down. And the nice thing is that I can stretch out all of my presets and only have one bar showing. Gee, I don't want to stretch it out quite that much. So I can have my partials preset there. So all my presets are up there. I can also put all my note durations up there. I could also add some additional uh, note duration options if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with these labels actually, maybe I'll put them, maybe I'll put that in the top corner of this. 
So envelopes goes there. Um, oscillators goes there, maybe. Partials goes there, maybe. That's not ideal. You could think of a better way of, of doing that. And by the way, like I say, I could um, pull these over here and increase the size of my envelopes. Now, none of this changes how things look in the uh, patching mode. So I haven't screwed any of that up, and if I kick off the patching mode, then it all jiggles back to where it was before. So you have this option of, of the presentation mode and the uh, patching mode. The functionality shouldn't change at all in, uh, in presentation mode from how it is in patching mode, but it just looks prettier. The one thing, by the way, I haven't included is a volume control and the output, but that's somewhere else in the patch, so I won't bother with that now. You get the idea anyway.